So, Mary, how long has your partner been diagnosed with Parkinson's? He was diagnosed uh, about 11 years ago now. Probably oh. had it before that for a while. And what, what symptoms did you first notice? Oh, well, um, I was not that... I'm not that observant, but I knew one time I had broken my arm and I had him fasten up the back of my dress or asked him to and he couldn't do it, which I thought was a little odd. But then he himself um, was having trouble getting his, you know, his suit jacket on to go to work yeah. and he couldn't understand that and he thought maybe he had had a little stroke or something. But he just went off to the doctor on his own and got the diagnosis. And then he came home and told me. And then I went back in with him. But the doctor was a little, the doctor wasn't very sympathetic. Or <laughs> he was more like, oh, I'm so excited. I made this diagnosis. I went, OK. Oh, <laughs> anyway, not, not, a, not a great uh, bedside manner. <laughs> How about you? Um, it was five years ago that he was diagnosed. Um, he was 47 at the time. I, I must admit, I hadn't noticed any symptoms, but I'm also not very observant. Um, in, in retrospect now, I can see a few things, uh, like the, the frozen face, for example, the lack of expression. Mm -hmm. um, but what prompted him to go to the doctor was uh, stiffness in his right hand, which he thought was RSI, and he had some vision problems. And because he was working um, in the corporate world at the time, he had private health care, so things moved quite quickly. Um, to diagnosis at that point. Well, that's good. It was quite a, a different story for us, I think. Um, so my husband was diagnosed, I think the, the final sort of confirmation was in 2018. And I'd been worried about him for some time because he seemed to have got slower and rather stiff. And he poo-pooed this idea that there was any problem. Um, his father had had quite bad arthritis. And he said, well, you know, I'm 70. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. Um, I didn't know anything about Parkinson's other than it wasn't a very great thing to have and that there was a characteristic tremor. I was worried that whatever was wrong with Colin was something neurological because I'd had minor neurological issues and I knew the sort of tests they do on you. Mm -hmm. Something told me to just Google the symptoms of Parkinson's because I thought it it's not motor neuron disease, he can grip things. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, and when I read this list, I thought, well, I thought he'd just always had rather crabbed handwriting and it had got worse with age. And, and I thought this and that and mm -hmm. the other, you know, um, that there was a sort of great long list of, of things, stiffness obviously being one of them. But everything could have been something else. Right. It could have just you know, being just the way he was. There was nothing really standing out mm -hmm. and there was no tremor at all. Yeah. I kept saying you should go to the doctor about this stiffness um, and he took no notice. <laughs> and mm -hmm. So I kept it to myself. I thought, well, you know, what do I know? I didn't want to sort of raise the spectre of Parkinson's if it was a red herring to mix the metaphor a bit. So I spent six months, you know, sort of worrying. And then we were at a church conference together and a friend who's a doctor took me on one side and said, I think, you know, Colin should be checked out for Parkinson's. She wasn't actually particularly her medical background. It was that her brother-in-law had it and it was the facial expression and the fact that when he'd given her a lift to the car park at this conference centre, he hadn't driven like he used to. I thought, I don't want to spring this on him. Mm -hmm. You know, it's going to be a shock. Mm -hmm. So we drove back <laughs> and we had this conversation. Um, and he took it on the chin, went straight to the doctor. Doctor took one look at him right. and said, yeah, well, you'll have to have some tests, but it certainly looks like Parkinson's to me. And then we were into King's, you know, brain scans, getting on that sort of escalator. Uh -huh. um, and eventually, you know, more than a year later, a tiny tremor appeared. Oh, interesting. But by then, presumably, he was on the medication. He took a long time to go on the medication. I, I, I think he spent 
well over a year without taking any medication. He never had had to take medication for anything, you know, it, just as he'd never had any sort of operation. Or... Gosh, that's interesting because Jody went on the medication almost immediately. And of course, the great thing was he, he then saw an improvement in symptoms. So having been thinking that he couldn't type because he had RSI, he was immediately typing fluently again mm. and oh, great. had, you know, less issues with uh, fatigue and that sort of thing. If you're interested in finding out more about Parkinson's, subscribe for a new video every Thursday.